The mobile internet industry in China can only continue to succeed if companies share a common goal to make their customer happy. And as Lifestyles learned, they are very aware of that fact. Some of the most influential leaders of the mobile internet industry in China recently gathered in Beijing for the China Mobile Internet Industry Investment Forum. The focus: the successful future of mobile internet in the country. Something everyone here agreed could only be achieved if customers continued to be priority number one. The most important thing is getting and keeping the users' interest, making sure the users like our products. According to Joe Quay, a partner in a venture capital firm in China, if the customer isn't happy, a good business plan is useless. James Shin, vice president of Qualcomm, a U.S.-based wireless telecommunications company, agrees. A few companies they cannot deliver what they promised, right?、Uh, sometimes it's not their fault. Sometimes、uh, just、uh, not happened as people expected. So yeah,、uh, our portfolio companies,、uh, most of them are very successful.、Uh, we today we still have、uh, 50 portfolio companies, but the, there are several ones they have to close their business because、uh, nobody uses their applications. That's why Sun Jung Tao is not rushing his latest innovation in mobile technology. Sun's company has a series of mobile payment applications bundled with security chipsets, which can be installed on more than 99% of cell phones, enabling people to literally pay their bills in the palm of their hands. We have to constantly improve the user experiences of our mobile payment apps, according to client feedback and complaints. This is one of the most important focus in our daily work. And as with any business, there are many complaints. Mobile internet is quite new in China. In fact, it wasn't introduced until 2009. As a result, some people in the country are weary of the new technology. I don't trust mobile banking or shopping. Basically, it's because I've never used it. For the elderly, no experience often means no trust, no matter how high tech it is. Take online shopping for instance. I can't see the real product, and I don't know whom I could ask for help. And I eventually get confused in front of the complicated operating procedures. I'm not good at learning the new functions on a smartphone. I only use it to talk. I can surf the net at home. Education is key, but something many people won't receive until they can afford to try out the technology. And the cost of mobile internet in China is preventing many people from making the purchase. It costs me about three U.S. dollars per month for a 250 MBit package. I have to pay extra bills if I surf the net too much, so I would have to go to places that offer free Wi-Fi. The cost of the service isn't the only complaint from customers. Many people don't like the high cost of the apps that are needed to take full advantage of mobile technology. Well, actually, I had a discussion about this yesterday with my friend.、Um, normally, we will prefer to have some free apps、uh, if they are like the usage are not really different. But if I really need to use it, for example, for my job or for some other circumstances, probably I will buy. Price, education, and other hiccups in the expansion of the mobile internet industry are constant topics of discussion at events like the China Mobile Internet Industry Investment Forum. From startups to major corporations, the goal is the same: to convince more people to turn to mobile technology. I think you know the, a lot of a lot of things have have on have、uh, already happened in the internet. We all. Also have in, in the in the mobile internet, and that's because of the mobile is you know always with us, right? Or any well any time you know you know, and we take a lot of our you know natural time. We are on the on the train, on the bus, on the taxi,、uh, 
we can still use the mobile internet. So、um, they will change our daily life. The number of mobile internet users in China is expected to reach an estimated 800 million people within five years. That is, if companies continue to make keeping the customer happy their number one goal. If they do, the world's most populated country will become the world's most connected.